Hello, welcome to Hack Games. Day one of ESL1 Cologne is finally over, and what a day it has been. I'm just going to show you my results. Um, I managed to get 19 points in total. Uh, two of my games didn't come out as expected. The one that I'm annoyed about <laughs> was the Epsilon Hellraiser game. Now, I pulled out of doing Epsilon because I heard that they haven't been uh, boot camping, but Hellraisers got absolutely trounced. I think it was 16-1 or 16-2, and I think that was on, on Inferno. Um, so yeah, the Epsilon won that game, so I lost that on three points there. And then the other big upset was the Cloud9 Titan game, which was absolutely amazing. Such a good game. If you haven't seen it, check out the VODs. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. So um, I don't want to ruin it for people, because if you haven't seen the game, you have to check it out. So basically, I bet on um, I bet on uh, what's it? Cloud Nine. I went for a low bet on Cloud Nine, uh, but my sticker was with Titan. So either way, I was still going to win. Like whatever the outcome was, I wouldn't really mind who wins or loses. But I ended up getting a lot of skins from Cloud Nine. So that was absolutely amazing. Um, day two, which is today when I'm recording this, uh, we're going to have a lot of really risky games. Uh, it's going to be really hard to predict a lot of these. Um, we're going to start, start off with um, Group A. So we've got Ninjas in Pyjamas going up against Epsilon Esports. Um, that's probably going to be Ninja in Pyjamas game to win. I, I don't really see them losing. Although it's, it will be a close game, probably like 16-9, 16-10 to nip. So I'm going to place their sticker there. Um, and then the loser of this plays Hellraisers, so I'm assuming, assuming it's going to be Hellraisers Epsilon. Um, and of course, Epsilon absolutely wrecked Hellraisers before, but they're going to be playing them again. So I'm going to assume they are going to win this time again. So Epsilon and Nip out of Group A. I think that those are good picks there. Group B, now LDLC and Na'Vi. LDLC are a good team. Uh, Na'Vi are also a good team. This is going to be another throw up. I think the odds on this one on CSGO Lounge are going to be skewed a little. I think Na'Vi is going to have more people going for them. Whilst LDLC can definitely win the game. Definitely win a best of one. Um, but I think just because of Na'Vi and their performance, just in general, like at LAN, I think I'm going to go for those people. So that's it. And then the loser plays Copenhagen Wolves. So that would be LDLC, I'm assuming. Uh, this is another tough game. I mean, it's hard to call. Both of these are like tier 2 teams. Um, not sure what way it could go. I'm going to probably go with LDLC. Um, just because they seem to be on form at the moment. Not sure about Copenhagen Wolves. They uh, what, what did they do? They had a game against London Conspiracy. Uh, they won that 16-5. So that's actually pretty good. But then, then you have LDLC who won 16-2, I think it was. 16-2 against... Um, yeah, there you go. 16-2 against uh, London Conspiracy. Again, that was on Nuke. Uh, I, I'm honestly going to go with um, LDLC, I think, on this one. But that's going to be a really close game. Very inter interesting one to watch. Uh, I think a lot of skins will be won and probably lost on that. Okay, Group C. Now this is absolutely mental, this group. So you've got Virtus Pro, Fnatic, I by Power. Um, I think Virtus Pro is going to take Fnatic, but that will not be a, you know, won't be an easy <laughs> thing by any means. Uh, Fnatic definitely are a really good team, and they absolutely dominated I by Power, albeit on Inferno, no, not Inferno, Cobble, one of the new maps. So that might have played into the factor a little bit of why they won so you know easily it wasn't that easy but you know they sort of dominated a little bit but I'm gonna go with Virtus Pro um, just because I think they're gonna win <laughs> basically so Fnatic I by power gonna go with Fnatic again even though it was on um, Cobble that they won last time uh, I think I by power got lucky with the draft uh, I think Fnatic can take it so Group D now Team Dignitas and Cloud9 now, Cloud9 obviously had a really good game against Titan, but it was very close. I think I think Dignitas have it in them to beat Cloud9. Uh, it'll be a very close game. Again, this group's got like three top tier teams, and I'm going to put it on Dignitas for that one. 
And then the loser game, whoever loses, which is probably going to be Cloud9, will be playing Titan, Titan again. Now this is an interesting one because they're obviously rematching. Um, I think I'm going to go with Titan, but just because... Um, not because like I'm fanboying them or anything, but that was their game to win. That game they lost to Cloud9, they should have won that. They should have closed it out ages ago. Um, and <laughs> it was really bad for them to actually lose that game and take it into second, like double overtime and then just lose. So really bad by them but they should have won so I'm gonna be thinking like next time they play Cloud9 uh, they'll probably get their heads on a bit more and play, close out the game a bit faster so yeah those are my bets for day two um, I'm probably gonna be betting on CSGO Lounge as well but I'm gonna be doing all the safe bets for probably Nip and Epsilon that's a safe bet for Nip um, not many of the others are really safe bets to be honest there's a lot of risk I think until it get, hits the best of threes, which is tomorrow on the 16th, um, that's when it's going to be safe to bet on a team like a tier 1 team going against another tier 1 team, because it could go either way, because the teams are so good at the moment. But yeah, this is my predictions for the Pick'em Challenge. If you want to copy them, feel free. Let me know how you got on on day 1, how many points you earned. And yeah, you know, definitely post your stuff in the comments, and keep watching the show really it's been really amazing so far we've had some good games and i can't wait to watch uh, what happens for day two so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time